What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. The breakdown what's happening to the market thus far, which you should be watching for as time progresses. What big data just came out that's very important, how all of this is going to affect Spy, Tesla, and all these tickers moving forward. But before I bring anything to all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, and the offer ends very soon. Anyways, now let's break down what's going on with the market. Looking at SPY, this thing is actually selling off a bit in the pre-market, at least for now. We're going to be watching to see how well support holds and when the reversal is going to start. I believe SPY is going to see a nice bounce and start pushing up higher later on during the day. But for now, we're just going to grab some liquidity down here first in preparation of that move, in my opinion. Now, on top of this, I just want to mention that in the unemployment rate come out at 3.7%. Non-farm payrolls were a little bit higher than expected. And besides that, the labor force participation rate and everything else was aligned with expectations. But seeing the unemployment rate according to the data being a little bit, uh, just barely meeting expectations, non-farm payrolls being highest causing the market to kind of sell off just a little bit. But then I still think things could change at 10 a.m. once we get the Michigan Consumer Sentiment Report. At 10 a.m., we have the Mich Michigan Consumer Sentiment data coming out, the five-year inflationary expectations, the current conditions report, and the Michigan Michigan inflationary expectations report as well. We want to see what this data causes at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 30 minutes after market open. So we'll see how things go. As a reminder, guys, don't forget that SPY has for today, February 2nd, we have over uh, 365,000 calls expiring and we have just under 850,000 puts expiring with a 2.33 puts to call ratio. The majority of people and institutions have puts betting the market's going to drop so are we going to see the market just continue to drop the way it is right now or is the market about to get a monstrous bounce we'll be watching this very carefully there's still a good chance we could see something very interesting now on top of this i just want to mention that we had some earnings come out you know we had apple amazon meta meta is still up like 18 percent amazon's up eight percent apple's only down three percent so we have these big earnings coming out but then for today we had exxon mobile and chevron chevron actually ended up dropping a little bit uh but the thing that's worth noting is that shareholders see a record windfall in 2023 the company raised its dividend by eight percent which is good news for it uh you can see the eps was a beat but revenue is a miss for chevron exxon mobile has been pumping basically because of the fact that it beats expectations even as lower oil prices weigh on profits. So revenue was a small miss, but you know, EPS was a beat and their, um, you know, their projections are not as bad. There was some talk about things going on in California with regulatory issues, but guidance is not looking the worst and we'll have to see how things basically pan out for them moving forward. With that being said, there was some big news involving Tesla. Tesla has announced the quote unquote largest recall to date with more than over 2 million vehicles being quote-unquote recalled. But don't forget, guys, the recall is fixed by just a software update, so it's not your typical recall. Uh, Tesla is going to be announcing and releasing some software updates to improve the situation. Uh, so that's something big news for Tesla. That's why Tesla came down quite a bit this morning. But as the market bounces, I do think that Tesla could make its way back up. So what do I see for the charts? Here's my answer for everyone. Basically, SPY is selling off a bit approaching these EMAs. We have 488 coming up as our key support. But remember, the four-hour PPO crossover is still showing we have upwards momentum. And on the daily charts, you can see SPY still has life right over here. We still have life on the daily. We're not done quite yet. So I believe what's going to happen is SPY is going to... It could drop a little bit more even if it comes down to 488. We're going to see a nice bounce from here and i think that we're going to still squeeze shorts we're going to be looking for a big reversal to push back up to the highs we made i think we're going to be breaking all-time highs if we get above 492.5 we're going to be looking for a push to 495 i think there's a good chance spy is going to bounce we're going to be watching that very carefully so can we drop a little lower yes watch 488 is key support if we lose that 486 is next i don't think we're going to drop that though i think we could just drop one more point here then we're going to be looking for a nice reversal i think it's going to be pushing back up to its top i still think we're going to see shorts get squeezed for tesla 
I just want to mention that Tesla is looking kind of weak now. We had some bad news that came out with the big recall. Unfortunately, guys, I was hoping Tesla would get a nice, you know, squeeze. But unfortunately, the, excuse me, the bad news is trumping Tesla. It's hurting Tesla. So not the best thing to hear. But we're going to be watching how it holds around 182.5 or 184. Let's see how it holds around this range. We could still get a nice bounce from here as long as we hold this level. And if SPY in the market bounce, we could see Tesla try to make its way back into the higher 180s, back up to 188 and eventually 190 plus. If we break this, we could see a breakout to the upside. It's just that things will be a little bit more difficult for Tesla because of the bad news that just came out. And there's no way I or anyone could have seen this. Tesla could have ran a lot better if it wasn't for the bad news. Looking a little bit weak right now. Look for it to potentially sell off a little bit more, but watch for a bounce later on during the day, especially with SPY and the markets. We'll be watching for that very, very carefully. Uh, besides that, guys, uh, we're also going to be looking at the QQQ. The QQQ is coming down, <laughs> excuse me, a bit just like SPY. But the thing that's worth noting is that we're not quite done yet. I think that we're going to be approaching this support at 422.5. We also have 423.5. We're going to be watching to see if we bounce at one of those levels. I believe that the QQQ could retrace just a little bit and eventually make its way back up because we're forming a nice cup right over here. Um, watch and see a nice reversal right here in this 422 area. I think we're going to be pushing back up towards our high. So I think there's going to be a nice reversal coming. We could drop a little bit more, but I think they're going to try to squeeze shorts later on. So watch 422.5, uh, 423.5 first and 422.5, and then 421 below that. At one of those levels, we should see a bounce, and then we should be pushing our way back up to 425. If we break that, 427 is coming next for a nice push to the upside, in my opinion. For NVIDIA, NVIDIA is kind of selling off a little bit, but still holding above 636. And I think that once this thing gets a bounce, we could be pushing back up for about 645 all over again. And I think there is potential for it to break out, which could drag the market upwards. So watch for this liquidity grab down here to the nice push to the upside. I think there's a good chance we're going to see 645 plus. I think that NVIDIA is just getting started. For support, don't forget to be watching basically 636. If we lose that, we have the breakout area at 633 coming next uh 632 i mean then we have 628 followed by 622 i think that it might drop a little bit grab liquidity right here in the lower the mid to lower 630s then a nice bounce could come then we could see nvidia start pushing back to the 640s so look for a little drop and then a bounce on nvidia i think there's a very good chance that's going to happen what about for apple apple is still down after its earnings barely holding 180 if we lose 180, we could technically get very close to 178. But you could see the buyers are defending it very well. So I wouldn't be surprised if Apple actually comes down. Uh, it might try to either hold 180 or drop a little bit more towards 178 and then bounce. But either way, I do see it trying to base at one of these levels, then rebound. So either it just kind of shuffles at 180 and tries to push back up above 181, or it drops a little bit more to about 178 and then it bounces back up, making a V-shaped recovery. That's what I'm seeing for Apple, not seeing anything too crazy. They beat on earnings technically, it's just that their Chinese sales are not the strongest. So that's what's making the headlines for now. So that being said, thank you all so much for listening. Please have an absolutely spectacular rest of the day. Uh, I'll see you guys very soon on the next video. Get ready for a nice balance in the markets. And with that being said, please, please, please take care, everyone. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for listening. Watch your levels, do what you have to do, and peace out.